so we're back here and uh, we're talking about forgiveness. And Roger, tell, tell me a little bit about your concept of forgiveness. Well, being in politics, um, you know, for 40 some years, uh, it's, it's hard, it's really hard. That's one of the things too that, uh, you know, it's, it's a hard mix. Because once you uh, get defeated or you defeat someone, from that moment on, you're thinking about the next election, how you're going to pay back. So forgiveness is one of the things that you, 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 seldom, you hear it a lot now. You know, like the, for example, like the Prime Minister of Trudeau is, is, talks about it a lot. And you got other, and the chiefs now, the, the spiritual leaders, that, always, that was always their mantra. You gotta forgive right. and, and move on. Now the person who uses politics is now has taken the lead in, in, in uh, uh, understanding and, and making it a uh, their mantra. You gotta forgive, forgive the government, forgive the politics, and let's, let's move on. Right? You yes. have gifted people. You know the Creator has given us one special gift that no one can take away, either through. Uh, uh, land claims or any claims, your spiritual power is what's rising. And it's right now, if we spend some time in working with kids, all kids, all races, about forgiveness, that only then you'll be able to see a change in the world. And in particular, in governments in Canada, we move slowly now, we move the First Nations people who move slowly, and a lot of power and a lot of spirit. And if we're gaining ground, we're gaining ground, we're gaining ground. Our schools are getting bigger, you know, our, our kids are getting educated, you know, and, and it's extremely, extremely powerful. People are understanding that power is not just about politics, power is about spiritual power, right? There has to be an economic, social, political, and spiritual revolution, you know, together, we move together, but first, our base is a spiritual, spiritual base, and that's what the healing centers are going to do. And our healing center that we're starting now, and uh, we just have to uh, send strong special prayers to Bank of Montreal <laughs> 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 and see what they're under, their understanding. But it's, it's really, right now, I don't know what's going to happen. I know I'm going to build this place. I know it's built already. I just have to move in, right? Yeah. It's like one of the things I heard through a campaign uh, in national politics with the one young youth, uh, youth said to his elder, he says, why, uh, why have we lost our culture? Why have we lost our languages? And this elder says, we didn't lose our languages, we just stopped using them. Wow. So that's, that's, that's where I'm at now, personally, at my age, you know, like I thank God that I was given the chance, again, I've gone through a couple of setbacks and with my help, yeah. but I, as long as I maintain, maintain my focus is to continue to help, and in particular, men and boys need, need now to have a place to talk, place to rejoice, and place to celebrate. We already have our dances. The First Nations have, we have dances, we have our own stories, we have our Creator, which is God, that's, that blessed us with this great knowledge to pass on. And that's what we're going to be doing at this great lodge.